I, Srimoti Monidipa Dattagupta, as the head of the Department of Anthropology, on behalf of my department, welcome you all. As you know, our discipline, anthropology, comes from two words, the anthropos, which means man, and logos, which means to study. So our subject deals with everything about man. Today, that is 11th July, is celebrated as the World Population Day throughout the world. Overpopulation is the major problem of today's world, which causes economic crisis, health hazards and many more. So, this day is celebrated keeping in mind how to control population to make a healthy and safe world to live. To celebrate this day, our students, especially the six same honor students, have prepared this PPT presentation. And uh, I acknowledge our principal, Madam Dr. Shoma Bondopadha, and our IQSC coordinator, Sir, Dr. Kuntal Chattopadhyay, for extending their cooperation in completing this program. I also request you all uh, to go through this video and hope you will all like it and uh, please give your valuable suggestions uh, which will encourage our students in future. Today is World Population Day as human world is one of the basic subject matter of anthropology. Naturally students of anthropology they feel more excited to observe this day and I would like to congratulate Department of Anthropology, teachers and students of this department for their immense effort to celebrate this day with a specific academic endeavor and the students who have given a lot of effort to prepare this kind of uh, presentation which is nice to see and very much enlightening and I wish this presentation will be very much enjoyable and knowledgeable to all the viewers and again I would I will congratulate especially my students who have done a lot to celebrate this day. Thank you all. World Population Day is observed on July 11 every year. It seeks to raise awareness of global population issues. The event was established by the Governing Council of the United Nations Development Programme in 1989. The development and operations of a country hugely depend upon the size of the population. And larger the population of a country, the more difficult it becomes to develop at a faster pace. Hence, curbing the situation of overpopulation is absolutely necessary, be it on a country's level or a global level for the sustainable development of our available resources. I feel very happy and enthused that the students of Anthropology Department of our college have prepared a video to mark this day to spread awareness of the increasing crisis of overpopulation 
all the best wishes for them and thank you all at first we would like to express our special thanks and gratitude to respected principal madam dr shoma bandopadhyay iqsc coordinator sir dr kuntal chattopadhyay head of the department of anthropology professor monidipa dattagupta and respected all professors of our department for giving us this golden opportunity to make this presentation successfully observing world population day 11th july 2021 the event was established by the governing council of the united nations development program in 1989 The day is celebrated to draw attention on various population related issues like family planning, gender equality, poverty elimination, maternal health, human rights etc. Every year a new theme is introduced by the United Nations. This year the theme is rights and choices are the answer. Whether baby boom or bust the solution to shifting fertility rates lies in prioritizing the reproductive health and rights of all people. China, India, United States, Indonesia and Pakistan hold half of the world's population. These are the most populous countries in the world according to world demography. The demographic transition refers to the population cycle that begins with a fall in the death rate, continues with a phase of rapid population growth and concludes with a decline in the birth rate. The five stages of demographic transition are presented here. first stage has been called high population growth potential stage the second stage is the population exploitation the third stage is also characterized as a population stage because it continues to grow at the fast rate the fourth is called the stage of stationary population and the fifth is the stable or slow increase of population human population has grown exponentially over past century Over 7 billion people live on earth and the rapid population growth or overpopulation and the depletion of natural resources degradation of environment rise in unemployment high cost living water shortage pandemics etc In this slide the left graph is presenting the world population by region and the right one is the population growth of India from 2009 to 2019 increased birth rate decrease of death rate no proper family planning migration and other cultural influences are the factors of overpopulation globally over half of the births are estimated to take place in 10 countries in india nearly 60000 births and 3.7 lakhs are globally expected to take place on 2021 according to unicef As a report of United States Department of Economic and Social Affairs DESA the growing number of international migrants has now reached to 72 million outpacing the growth rate of the world's population migrant worker are fall into a huge crisis during lockdown 90% of the indian workforce is in the informal economy 70% of whom are migrants the small percentage of the workforce that still remains in the formal economy is being pushed on the informal economy at breakneck speed the working conditions and terms of employment of the vast majority of this workforce especially in urban areas remained one of the initial phase of industrialized where rights security and dignity were sacrificed the higher rate of population growth among muslims compared with hindus were projected by some as a threat although careful analysis showed otherwise the debate went even further and involved christians and how conversion could possibly explain growth in their numbers in this slide we presented estimated percentage change in population size from 2015 to 2060 overpopulation trend has been created problems related to environment infrastructure urban growth social economic aspects etc the land and other resources are limited but the population is increasing day by day the situation is gradually giving people a step further towards the intense life struggle the struggle for existence for example we can say about the syrian refugee crisis remains the world's largest refugee and displacement crisis of our time 
Children work through a flooded tent settlement in Lebanon, Dika Valley after a winter storm in January 2019. Many Syrian refugees have flooded out from their shelter and lost all their possessions. Another example is the rise and demolition of the Berlin Wall. The Asian Development Bank highlighted that the number of urban inhabitants in developing Asia has increased almost fivefold since 1970. The report tracing world urbanization prospects data also states that the two-third of the nearly 1.5 billion additional city dwellers in the region belong from India and China. Report estimates that countries' working age population growth for the next two decades will be 9.7 million per year from 2021 to 2031, and 4.2 million per year from 2031 to 2041. The Economic Survey report observed that India is said to witness a sharp slowdown in population growth in next two decades. India is poised at a moment. in history where it can exploit its demographic advantages to realize its economic goals population control is crucial for making india a prosperous nation china is currently the world's second largest economy in force one child norm in 1980s had remained in place until 2016 days after china census data showed population growth clipping to its lowest rate the country has announced it will not allow three children per married couple 5 years after it first relaxed its controversial one child policy to two even a three child policy has now been announced many remain spectacle wondering how it should be able to address challenges that the 2016 change could not due to the factors such as higher cost of living and long working hours Here we presented the pictures of world conferences on population and development. In these conferences some involuntary approaches to population control are discussed such as family planning, child tax, contraception, infant mortality, one child policies. Unstable population growth and lack of access to reproductive health care put pressure on human communities. Food and water shortage reducing resilience in the face of climatic change and making it harder for the most vulnerable communities to rise out intergenerational poverty. Students are also concerned about these issues. At the end we can say overpopulation is the most important problem facing humanity today health and wellness is being affected by the overpopulation it affects all of us the scarcity of food will increase population will increase and global warming becomes more of a problem on this occasion let us together and fight against one of the biggest causes affecting us let us save our planet by not overflowing it with people for our nature's sake and celebrate this world population day thank you